Hello, my beloved. I'm wanting to address a subject that uh, I think is really important for all of us, but especially for young people who have embraced orthodoxy for the first time. Over the years, I have experienced many, as we might call them, newborns in Orthodox churches, and they're usually easily identifiable because they take the liturgical expressions sometimes to an extreme. They are very dramatic in the way they make the sign of the cross. They tend to stand up towards the front of the church in a very conspicuous place. I'm not suggesting that they're doing that to cause attention to them, bring attention to themselves, but rather that it, it, it is a, uh, an attempt on their part to embrace orthodoxy uh, to a super extent. And one of the problems with that, that approach, is that a lot of young people wane in their faith at some point. They put in all of this extra energy and then they kind of get tired and then they feel like, oh, why bother? And, and pretty soon they're, they're sort of nominally orthodox. One of the things that we want to do with our orthodox faith is we want to embrace it in its fullness. This means that we take a close look at our daily lives and how we're living our lives out as Orthodox Christians. Now, this doesn't mean that we can't get together with friends for a beer on a Friday night. It doesn't mean that we can't um, go to the beach with friends or go on a picnic and have fun. But what it does mean is that we want to make sure that our Orthodox faith is prioritized, that most of our focus on a daily basis is on God and our desire to embrace the Lord Jesus Christ as he has embraced us. It's when we do this that our faith becomes something other than a religion. It becomes a way of life. It becomes our life. So for you young people who are newly embarking upon this journey into orthodoxy, welcome home. I'm glad to have you. We see a lot of young men here at the monastery throughout the year who have done just that. And it is a great blessing to me to see this, to see the future of orthodoxy alive and well among young people. That is a beautiful thing. Oftentimes, new converts see their Orthodox faith is, is a challenge to take on more duties, to take on more responsibilities and, and uh, attend more services and do more prayers and make more prostrations and light more candles. But none of this is going to be of value if we don't look closely at what it means to be a Christian and what Christ has implanted in our hearts as Christians, to love one another, to be quick to forgive others, to give a good example of living the Orthodox faith so that others see in us the truth that changes us and changes the world. This is what we want to do. All the externals, all of the ritual, as helpful as it can be, is worth nothing if we do not have love and if we are not quick to forgive others. May God make it so. If you have found this content to be a blessing, please like, share, 
and subscribe. Thank you. and son and immortal words.